Okay, uh, hello everyone and welcome to this video. My name is Pedram um, and today I'm going to show you how you can use AWS CDK um, to create some step function resources um, in your AWS account and to create some workflow. Uh, it is a slightly different approach than what you might see in most of the AWS um, uh, tutorials. Um, there you mostly see that um, kind of there are, um, you know, there are two CDK uh, constructs. So you have level one constructs that are kind of more like cloud formation um, type of um, kind of construct, and also that you have level two constructs that um, that are kind of more advanced and um, they kind of they take more of the boilerplate code uh, that you might need to write. Um, however, the problem is that using the first, like you know, the level one constructs, you can um, have some some of the features that AWS provides for you in terms of uh, creating workflows, um, and that is what we are going to explore today. So let's get into it. So I'm going. I'm just going to create. Uh, start with. Um, uh, well, first I'm going to create clear my uh, terminal, of course. Um, then I'm going to uh, initialize a CDK project, or first I create a directory called pragmatic step func. Good name because we're being pragmatic right now. So then uh, we are going to change there and. Then say CDK init language type script. Okay. So then this is going to initialize the project for us, as you, of course, or might already know. Um, and then we are going to have um, some of the, we are going to explore some of the features um, that uh, this provides. So, okay, then I'm going to open this in my VS code. Um, and as you can see, firstly, we are going to um, declare, um, open, I'm going to open my terminal as well. Um, we are going to declare a couple of uh, dependency. So the first one would be AWS IAM. Then we have AWS API gateway. Then we have AWS Lambda, and of course, AWS step functions. So I think that should be it. Um, and then I'm going to also add the um, the um, import to my um, to my file. I don't need DynamoDB. However. I don't know why I'm here. Just a second, sorry. I, yeah. So these are actually, I, we also, okay. I just add the, the imports, which I already had prepared, save it a little time. Um, so we're going to need to this part, this import the file system because we're going to import the step functions um, from file system. Um, then I need, I don't need DynamoDB. Maybe if you want, you can store your stuff in database. Absolutely welcome to keep that. Keep that. Um, also don't need this one, so it should be fine. So then I'm going to npm install to uh, pull down the packages. And then uh, let's then let's define our folder structure. So I need a source folder for my Lambda function. And also I need a logic folder. Uh, for my business logic. So let's create a file here. Call it workflow.json.bsl. So as you can see, I just add a sample workflow and then we are going to discuss about it. So as you can see, the sample workflow I did earlier, most all of them, almost all of them are past states. However, the thing is, as you can, as you saw, um, I can render uh, this workflow here right in my um, in my VS code. And if I'm collaborating with some other person, business analyst, let's say, um, it is much easier uh, to collaborate with them uh, using this method as opposed to creating a chain um, in step functions in the native, in the level two construct of CDK. 
So this is one approach, it might be suitable for you, it might not, you might be better off using the other approach. Uh, but I think for many cases, actually, this, is, this would be an, a pragmatic workflow of developing uh, the application. So um, that is the first part. Then let's go and create the, um, the stuff that we need here. So the first thing is I need a role. Um, um, so good, not API gateway. So, uh, so as you can see, I'm using um, I'm using uh, Copilot, which is great normally, but sometimes not great. Uh, that function role, and so it is good actually, but sometimes it could be a bit not so great. It's just like right now. <laughs> So assume by uh, it's fine, but I need I need to add more stuff to it. Um, I need to have manage policies, and let's see if it pulls the correct ones. So I think it it does look good. So I just let me just close that one to make get some more space. Set function full access. Again, that is <laughs> not what I wanted, but. So let's change this. So this role, AWS, and the uh, basic execution role. I also need AWS Lambda, ABC access role. So they might not be necessary at this point, but I just integrate them anyway. Um, okay, so cool. Um, then I'm going to need to um, import that file that we declared here uh, in our role file. So let's do that. Const um, uh, workflow file equals um, fs. That is exactly what they wanted, but not exactly the right path, which is the right path is logic. Workflow and the name that also does also have an ASL at the end. So that is fine. Then we are going to, right now, we are ready to re declare our step function. As you can see, it also brings the wrong construct actually. So let me go ahead and uh, CFN state machine that is exactly what you're looking for cfn state machine and then definition and role however it's not definition it is definition string and it is not workflow it is workflow to string so this way you can essentially import your workflow as a string and have it in your uh, step functions um, so let's let's continue. Um, the next thing that we are going to need is our lambda function. Um, so we create a lambda function called lambda equals um, new lambda function, probably lambda from starter. Or let me just change the name of this thing. Let me just do this. Let's see, Node.js, fine, great. Not exactly, but still looks fine. It looks great, actually. Um, yeah, um, okay. So this is not state machine learning, but rather um, uh, it is adder ARM. Yeah, that is um, exactly true. Um, and it's not, I don't think that uh, you need to give it workflow RM, but rather step function. It is, um, yeah, environment, I, I just give it step function area. Something like that. And the code is not 
come from here, but from the SRC folder um, and index handlers true. So that looks good, actually. Awesome. So then I'm going to add the role to the step function. So uh, let's say uh, lambda find star at role policy. Let's see. Again, it's not <laughs> doing a great job here. So I just say action. Actions, yes, true. And also the resource, ah, yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. Awesome. Then, um, of course, after that, you're going to need to declare API gateway because what I want to do, I want to have an API gateway where when it is called, you have a step, you have a lambda function, which then calls our step function. So that is now the, the, the generally it would work. So then I'm going to declare an API, but pragmatic step function it is really cool for um, uh, Copilot to create it for me. Um, yeah, why not? We do it on the, the again, get uh, integration. But we don't have the land integration. Uh, let's see. I think we do need to create an integration, don't we? Resource to that method. So let's let's roll with it, and then we will see what it, what happens. So okay, uh, I'm very interested to see how it works. <clears throat> what we, uh, before we do, we also need to declare our um, our lambda func function. I don't know why it is. And my laptop is hanging my MacBook M1. Okay, so then after declaring this, we need to declare our Lambda function. So let me go and create the file here. Not the folder, but text.js. And then what we need to have here is uh, from first and foremost, um, is the AWS uh, AWS um, SDK, um, and then we need the step function from the um, SDK, and as well as the ARN that we defined in our um, uh, CDK file. Then we need the, the to expose the handler for our uh, to, to basically for our lambda function, um, and then I just I'm going to copy and paste um, a piece of code that I've um, written before. So this is basically um, the step function um, ARN, um, and I also give an input sample input, um, um, and also I almost forgot I need to also give a unique ID um, for my uh, for my uh, workflow you can generate a uid or, or whatever but it should be unique um, and then i also add this all of this stuff um, so um, so i think what i need is basically this uh, can pat finger um, <clears throat> so this looks good actually so let's see if we can build this um, Okay, so first I'm going to run npm run build. CDK synth. Great, then CDK deploy. So, um, awesome. So, um, the most important thing is was, for me, the goal was here to demonstrate to you that um, those visually. This is a feature that uh, Azure uh, Logic App had, uh, but right now you also have it in step function. So let's say I want to create the step functions, design your workflow visually is exactly what you want. Um, and then um, Express and Shatter, that's a different story. Uh, and then here you can actually integrate all the services that you want, um, like, you know, you want an S3 if you want to start a start workflow as soon as something was uploaded to S3. So 
there are many many possibilities here as you can see um so that is exactly what i think makes why i think it makes sense uh, for many use cases to have the workflow defines it in such fashion so as you can see also work, our workflow is here and it looks good so the de deployment is almost done so looks good so let's see um, it is almost done and it is done right now perfect looks great so i'm going to go to my api gateway api gateway to just basically just test this thing um, pragmatic step function is my what i created what we created and let's see and as you see status 200 which means that uh, it went it is it's been deployed fine and then I, if i go to my step function i should see one uh, run of the uh, thing one run and as you can see it's here so it was executed fine <laughs> as you can see so uh, yeah this is what i wanted to show so um this concludes this some session so thank you very much for for watching uh if you have any comments please let me uh, know in the comment section um and thank you bye